it's time to let the healing begin. Oh, hi, hey, look, I'm still doing this. Welcome to another vlog from the brilliant minds at imfritz.com, where it's always a great day to be on the Fritz. And by great minds, I mean the many, many voices in my head, all certified 100% mostly peaceful by CNN. If you're here by choice and not being held captive in a wiener plant, be sure to slap the like button and pommel the subscribe button an odd number of times so you can get further updates and stuff. Speaking of stuff, never ever forget to click the ironfritz.com link to shop for cool stuff with my art and stuff on it. Link down in the description. It's everything you wanted, you didn't know you wanted. Ha. So, the title for today's v -v -v vlog is The Fritz and the Pendulum, or Don't Burn That City Down, You Don't Know Where It's Been. Alright, so the world's going crazy. Right is wrong. Dumb is smart. Laziness is work. Corruption is ethics. And science is money. What is that boomer talking about, you say? Oh, yes you do. This boomer is talking about the great moral, ethical, religious political, geothermal, pedagogical pendulum that swings back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Okay, that's creepy. Things changed. In my day, things were different. In a lot of ways, things were better. And in a lot of ways, things were worse. Now, this changed a bunch over the last few decades to where we are now. Some of the things that have been fixed are now better. Some of the things that were better, however, got changed to worse. What's worse, some of the things that changed for the better were left in the worst in some places, and some of the better things made better tried in some measure to make many of the better things worse. And when they couldn't make the better things worse, they doubled down to make them worse. That's worse with a T. All right. If I got lost there, you got lost there. Let me break that down. Things change. Part of the whole human smarty pants things is that we need to learn new things everywhere. No matter what, sometimes that means we try to relearn things we've already learned or figured out. But differently. It's not necessarily bad. It's just our nature. But yes, sometimes it is bad. Though usually it's good. Because different can be good. In my day, things were better. In my day, neighbors knew each other. During the day, they left their blinds open. Politicians were corrupt, but not this corrupt. Um, and when they got caught, they left office to hide from their shame. Uh, people kept their word. Promise meant something. And everyone knew who the child molester in town was. Uh, Christianity was predominant. I, I know but it still had a small outspoken element of uh, persecution and, well, stupidity. Kids had fistfights in school, but school shootings, never unheard of, in spite of how just about everybody had guns and even knew how to use them. News programs just told you what happened, and if they wanted to spin it, they had a clearly designated opinion or uh, editorial segment to say what they thought it meant. Okay, and they were worse. Racism, race, racism, racism, row. Okay, that was lame. Racism was still a thing everywhere, though it was dying, coming out, however, for gays was a death sentence, as gays were beaten, persecuted, and sometimes even murdered. That was a racism thing, too. Um, the small group of outspoken Christians I mentioned were serious, Serious jerks. Uh, they tried to root everything they deemed sinful into the ground like a tomb. And yes, I am going to dedicate an episode or two or more to that later on. Um, now, this changed a bunch over the last few decades, which is about a generation. That's typical how long it takes for major cultural shifts. Some of the things, some of the worst things have been fixed and are now better. Racism now, 
in most of the countries has gone away, but in some areas of the country, it is sadly still strong. And we're working on that. Gays are now accepted as humans, as they should be, as they are, in most places. And we're working on that. Um, and why? Well, it's DNA that determines what a human being is. That a human being is a human being is a human being. It's not what they believe, feel, or identify. And to clarify, what I mean by that is that all human beings are human beings and deserve the same basic... They just, they, they just deserve all the same human rights that everyone else gets, no matter what. Blacks, gays, the whole LGBTQ community. And it doesn't matter if you agree. It doesn't matter if you like it. They're human. And this is a point that is taking us far too long to realize and grow up to. Funny note, I accidentally didn't separate basic and human in my script, and it looked like an angry German word for something. Anyways, back to the thing. Okay, I said, uh, but some of the better things got changed to worse. Okay, for example, now instead of just one pedophile in town, they're everywhere and they're running the country. Christians are even now ridiculed and persecuted, but... It's kind of by the same people they've ridiculed and persecuted 30 years ago. So maybe we had that coming. Jerks. By jerks, I'm talking about the religious jerks. All right. What's worse, some of the things that changed for the better were left off in the worst of some places, and some of the better things made better tried, and some measures to make better of the things worse. And when they couldn't make the better things worse, okay, I, um, I lost track of where I was when I wrote that. Um, may very well have been put out solely for alliteration's sake, but I know that part of it was referring to this. BLM was a movement by blacks and their supporters to say, hey, some of us are still being discriminated against. And they started protesting. They started assembling, which is their constitutional and moral and ethical right. Um, but when they started to get lots of attention, <sighs> anarchists hopped on their demonstrations and started just humping them and took them over with violence resulting in this big mixed scene in which, I'm going to say it, white midliners actually started becoming afraid of blacks again. And it, it just basically started a renaissance of racism. So, yay, anarchy. Go. Yay. Thanks. All right. Um, other things. Guns have become bad guys. Um, they've been using lots of horrible crimes. Many dragged through the public eye, courtesy of the media. And much more in the form of simple but often twisted statistics. News channels have become fact-laced commentary and editorial, and they all, uh, um, eh, they all lie. There's no other way to put it. Some of them are worse than others. Um, part of the press, presses, press, presses, per, per, press. The news media's problem is sometimes that stories so ridiculous hit the spotlight that they don't even need to spin them. And because, like, yeah, you know, we're glad you got your butt wiped. Good for you. And that was news. All right. Um, it's all slowly swinging back and forth, back and forth. And the swinging back is now beginning. The Guns Are Bad movement is ending. Um, millions and millions of Americans who used to think guns bad have, have now bought one or some. They're going to classes to learn how to use them. Um, and there's still some steam to the guns bad movement. Uh, you can see it where like uh, there's numerous governments, institutions, individuals, and setters with the Kyle Rittenhouse case um, trying to charge him with murder with uh, the military style AR-15. 
Um, but he's being exonerated in every instance. So again, swinging back and forth. Ah, but man, that poor kid. All right, well, the political landscape keeps swinging back and forth. Virginia, the great blue hope and expansion of the East Coast, is beginning to vote on red state rep, rep, reps, reps, yeah, reps, as are other classically red states. Democrats' defund the police movement is reversing back to, well, it's reversing back to common sense, and dogs are no longer sleeping with cats. It's true. I saw it on the internet. So you see things, all oh, they are one way, they were one way, and then they're different. Things change. They go back and forth. It has been the story of our entire species throughout our entire history. <sighs> so that's just the way it's going to be. That's the way it's always been. Um, so I think we all need to kind of sit back collectively and uh, just kind of start being nice to each other. I think we need to start doing that. I need to come up with some kind of cool little catchphrase for that. So anyways... Hit the buttons, get the notifications, click the links, go to the IamFritz.com. New March and art is uploaded at least once a week, sometimes every day, sometimes even multiple uploads in one day. <gasps> so until next time, thanks for watching and be nice to each other.